Guys, guys, I figured out. I know what white whale is. Wait, have you been waiting for me the whole week? Back tonight with your host, Vlad Matorikin. Guys, guys, I, I figured it out. I figured it out. The white whale has gained so much attention these days and people are trying to figure out, even the Faculty of Health Sciences posted a tweet about it. But just like many others, no one could find the exact answer. People are struggling, they're looking. Silly had never posted about it, which is kind of obvious. But we here, I think we have an answer. There have been many theories floating around and some are like saying that it's to save white whale campaign. Wrong. Okay, Trump, okay. Maybe it's a thesis project. Wrong. I actually thought that's a seafood restaurant advertising. Wrong. Yeah, thank you, Trump. Thank you for agreeing with me. Uh, we finally solved this mystery. Since I'm not a presidential candidate, no one can actually fact check me. Uh, so, an anonymous source reported an appearance of white whale is a fact, a campaign about what? Mental health. Would you guess? It's a quite a witty campaign about the mental health. The quotes that have been around the whole white whale picture is actually coming from the very iconic novel, The Whale. You may know it by Moby Dick. And the quotes are coming from the passages where the captain goes mad. That's amazing. The last time when I saw something that witty was the silhouette cover, Just Ten. Do you think that it was like an obvious invite for a president? Come on the show. We're waiting for you. But what's the story uh, behind this initiative? In 2015, MAC graduate students were presented with a proposal to increase the funding of SWELL. What is SWELL, will you ask? It's a student wellness center from, and the proposal was to increase the funding from $10 to almost 34. The proposal lost by six vote, and this fuels some anger, and this is how the whole campaign started. And I'm, honestly, I understand the frustration. When you go to grad school, you're just one step closer to being a captain. Next one is an indigenous circle that opened last week. Have you seen it, guys? Uh, it's located between University Club and Wooden Hall. Don't worry, of campus student. I know that you have no idea where it is. The space was built uh, as a response to Truth and Reconciliation Report, which called for a relationship improvement between non-indigenous and indigenous people. And I have a question. How exactly is it going to heal the relationship? First of all, first 50% wouldn't even notice the, the circle and, or wouldn't know the story behind it. And the other 50% will, you know, forget pretty quickly about it. Just like about those dogs. No, not this dog, the other dog. Yeah, this one. Do you know what the story behind it? Neither do I. University assures that it will be tailored to indigenous studies. However, not limited. All other faculties will have access to it and can book it for other events. You know what? I hope that clubs will get access to it. If they will get access to it, they can conduct educational events. So, you know, we can use it properly because it's an outdoor classroom in Canada. It's going to be used as often as course evaluation form, twice a year and by only 5% of student population. It's an important topic to talk about and we should be more proactive about it because the classroom is going to be covered in snow in two months, but the issue won't. The issue will still be there. And very quickly, very quickly, on the most reposted news of the week with 1,125 Facebook shares. Yes, Patrick Dean is on the cover. I, you know what I think? I think regardless whatever picture you take and you add Patrick Dean, it's just four times nicer. Let's give it a try. And Patrick Dean. Awesome. I love it. I, I just, I really, I really love it. So much better. So McMaster, McMaster was acquired with $43 million, which are going to be used for, to update all the research facilities and labs. Which facilities, may you ask? It's going to be in addition to ABB. But where will it go? That's the map. And if you've been there, it's, it's quite, there's no space for it. What is this? A center for ants? Let's just wait and see what happened. More money, better it is. More outside money even better for us. But it's taking too long. Let's move to the parade of alcohol and university pride here at Mac Tonight.
Me too. Cheers. So first question. McMaster is in on eight year winning streak for the best beer pong player in a country. Today, we're playing with Guelph. I feel like we could do it. Um, we for sure can. Yeah, we for sure can. Yes. Wait, it's for beer pong, right? Yeah, it is beer pong. Yeah, I'm saying false. We should organize one. What year are you in? Uh, first year. First year? Yeah. You have four years to organize one. I think it's going to be a huge success. Uh -huh. The Guelph student to McMaster and the homecoming. Why know. would you come? Exactly. They're oh, for a probably have to drive their tractors or something. They're like, how they their, get their cattle. Hey, how are you doing? Good. How Good? Good. My buddy. Great. Your buddy. Last year, someone's front door were stolen during homecoming. True. Why would someone steal someone's front door? I think Laurier or maybe yeah. Waterloo. Yeah, he's organizing an event next year You're for a, a beer, beer pong, pong tournament. Yo, beer put pong. me out there. I'm a stud on the court. Were you there? He was the one who stole so it. You think it. You think it is for sure true? Front door I stolen. So. I think so. We just heard uh, someone said uh, a version that they, they use this as a beer pong. They yeah. have a beer Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll you have, have to go steal someone's Oh, thank you for the idea. Thank you. Would you do it? Me personally, probably not. How about your friend? How about your friend that's coming? <laughs> probably. Oh, that's your friend? Yeah. Come here. Come in. Last year, someone's front door was stolen. Do you think? How do oh, you feel? 100%. 100%? Yeah. Someone tried what? to steal my closet door. So. He'll bring a door. Okay, perfect. I'll yeah. bring the door, you bring the booze. So last year, the captain of the football team got two minutes for traveling. How do you feel about it? We lost the game because of that. Are you sad? Do you want to support us anymore? <laughs> How do you feel about it? So, what do you think it's? It his... would suck. Yeah, because it's such an obvious mistake, right? But he's a captain. He should. Like, you should be That's like. That's quite embarrassing. Why do you think it's not true? Someone would have said something right now. <laughs> Traveling? Like. Yeah, yeah. That, that's what he. That, oh, that's. Okay. That was written in the, in the report. Two, like traveling in two, yeah, two minutes is hockey and travel. I, I was like, I guess I gotta think so. This is inaccurate. This is, uh, two minutes is a hockey and traveling is basketball. I know, I was gonna oh, say, like, oh, traveling, that doesn't oh, sound like the whole. Who wrote this stuff? Who, who, who wrote, wrote this stuff? Not me for sure. Let's go. Uh, yeah, so Wilson Hole. Wilson Hole will be completed by the... And uh, NMSU.